Hey everyone, it's the run up to Christmas and rather than two calling birds or three French hens, the French government decided to give away tear gas in Paris. Police fired into the crowd as a fourth weekend of anti-government protests turned violent. 8,000 police and 12 armed vehicles have been deployed in the centre of Paris and if you think you hear 12 drummers drumming, it's probably just the sound of those 12 armed vehicles being pelted with rocks or possibly oyster shells and bottles of wine because hey it's Paris, why not enjoy lunch while you're making a day of it. The Yellow Vest, or Gilets Jaunes, movement initially set out to protest the unpopular fuel tax rises in this year's budget, a uh, tax Emmanuel Macron has since changed his mind about, presumably in favour of a prohibitive duty on the sale of yellow vests. He also decided to freeze the price of electricity and gas next year, but then the president is a former Goldman Sachs banker, so it's not as if fixing energy prices is anything new to him. The problem is that Mr Macron has now opened up a Pandora's box, with protesters now thinking they've got momentum and calling for higher wages, lower taxes, better pensions, easier university requirements, a partridge in a pear tree and perhaps the abolition of normal toilets in favour of those weird trough type things you used to see on holiday. They've also demanded the resignation of the president, and they may achieve that, but only by means of the second definition of resignation, namely, quote, acceptance of something undesirable but inevitable. It seems that for the next month or so, the weekly protest movement will be just as much a part of Parisian life as those folk on the pavement selling tacky oil painting miniature Eiffel Towers and offering to take your photograph, before, of course, either charging you 20 euros or just running off with your phone. It's also worth noting that the protest movement has also spread to Belgium, with 70 people arrested in Brussels so far. I also saw a photograph of a crowd of people violently brawling with the police outside of Weatherspoons in the north of England, although I'm not sure if that was a protest against Theresa May or just a protest about someone looking at someone the wrong way. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.